Okay, two cents for this episode's title. Okay, I said I wouldn't nitpick on the animation before, but what the fuck is this running cycle? Last warning. Show yourself, or you'll regret it. His voice! So it's a fight you want. Fight. I will find you. And I will kill you. Sarf. Ruv is apparently colorblind in his one eye. Sarf, please. Think about what you're doing. Everything we've been through together. It's me. I love you. If that was Servant, your children would be free. But... Jeebus humping tricky, what was- Whoa! Shit just went from 0 to 100 real fucking quick! Also, Roof is a skilled dodger, so I call hacks. Blood on the face, but there's no blood on the corpse. Also, Roof can't die, he's immortal, just like Sarv. Oh dear god! <laughs> that transition! Uh, hello? Earth to player? A little quiet, please, girlfriend. I'm trying to read the paper. My grandma. Wait! Oh no! What, player? What happened? The field is ending. God damn it, player. Also, something on page six about a serial killer. A serial killer? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, strange, dark nine, blah, blah, chainsaw murders, bodies cut in half. It's really long, so I just skimmed it. Damn it, player. Well, if the killer ambushes us, seems like a few details might help. Girlfriend would be excellent at cinema sins. Chill out, babe. You're with the greatest rap battler in the history of Friday Night Funkin'. Roll credits. If they had any. Ah, run for your lives! Every man for himself! God fucking damn it! It's just a blackout. Pretty normal for a storm. Relax. It's not like a murderer is gonna throw open that door and come in here. I've seen this cliche too many times. Here. Freaking called it! Chill out, it's me. Oh, it's just her. Wait, she's alive, so Roof can't be dead. Also- Floaty brownie thing! Oh god, Cervantes the murderer! I should've known- Wait, Cervante? Have I been pronouncing the name wrong? Hold on. Mother f No, I'm not the murderer! I'm here because I need your help. Uh, spitting image much? That's racist! That's my problem! It's some evil form of me from an alternate dimension or something. No, he's not. One sin per every time they say that. Uh, spitting image much? It's some evil form of me from an alternate dimension or something. I'm having trouble keeping track of all your evil forms, Servante. And make sure this imposter, Tacky, stole my identity and is using it for murder. Wow, Tacky is a spitting image. I yeah, twinsies. Your evil alternate dimension twin, your problem. If Tacky's really my twin, the only match for me is me. Also, she's 11 feet tall. Way taller than Sarvente. And Caesar said if they were to ever meet, Sarvente would get chainsawed. Also, Taki is wall-eyed and bald. Yes, many FNF animation channels forget that and give her black hair. But if they took a few minutes to look at the Funkopedia, they'd know. Also, Sarvente is wearing a sexy nun outfit she got from the dollar store and modified herself. Whereas Taki is wearing a traditional nun outfit. Important details like this, that player glossed over by skimming the page. I'm having trouble keeping track of all your evil forms, Servante. How can we be sure you're not- Who said she was evil? Is it because she's a demon? I think it's because it's she's a demon. That's racist. Behind this. Roof's missing. Uh, bummer, but I don't see how- Player, she wouldn't kill her own boyfriend, would she? Actually, the scorned lover is usually the prime suspect in a crime. Jeebus, humping, tricky. Player, shut up with the accusations, God! But now I get your point. Ruf isn't dead. 
Ha! <laughs> Knew it! With your help, I can rescue him and make sure this imposter... Have you ever heard of Among Us, Gregory? ...faces holy justice! Holy justice? Wait, is she gonna... What is that, like, taking Taki to Heavenly Court? Does Taki get a cherub lawyer? Is the punishment for death and holy justice system damned penalty? Force will help you, Sarvente. Um, girlfriend, a word? I can't believe you're so willing to help this demon lady. Claire is being an asshole. Excuse me? I'm a demon lady too, remember? Girlfriend should just break up with him right now. Us. Honestly. I don't want to get to know Servente. Also, I'm pretty sure there are many people who would love to get to know her, if you know what I mean. I'm sorry. You're in the minority, buddy. Last time we visited her church, we barely made it out alive. That's an over- You're exaggerating! That's what I'm she saying! Just find her boyfriend. If I went missing and a killer were on the loose, wouldn't you try and find me? Well... Wow, Player is really being a douchebag this episode, isn't he? Wouldn't you? Okay, yes, obviously I would. As long as the solution was rap battle related. Rap battle. Also, Player is useless. Otherwise, all bets are off. Girlfriend and I have discussed it and... I know. I heard literally all of that. Oh. Servant would be amazing at CinemaSins. Where should we start looking for the murderer? Most of the bodies turn up in Fever Town. Fever Town. A town whose mayor is a demon named Fever. Who never appears in this episode. Look, I get it. Caesar Fever's creator is called Caesar, and it's probably too close to an actual person for comfort. That's probably the reason why you don't want to betray him or Annie in your videos. But you portrayed a Gotti in one of your videos, and the real life of Gotti is a fucking asshole, so pick your fucking lane! Ooh, one of my mom's limo club friends lives around there! Wait, do limo clubs exist? Hang on. The more you know, I guess. She's real in tune with the nightlife. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Ooh, it's so pretty here. Ladies and gentlemen, Lost Funk in Vegas. What am I doing with my life? A voice actor's midlife crisis somehow made it into the script. Don't feel bad. There's too much pressure on young people to broaden their horizons. But my therapist said somehow made it into the script. I didn't even visit all the planes of hell until I was in my early 30,000s. 30,000s? 30, 30,000s? You can look, but you can't touch. Trying not to make a hooker joke, trying not to make a hooker joke, trying not to make a hooker joke. If you were wondering why I said, uh, to the way Carol said, I love you, Witty, it's because it sounded like the way this character, I forgot their name is, talks. Suggestively! Girlfriend, to what do I owe the pleasure? Don't say pleasure like that! And, hello, who is this stylish creature? <laughs> the name's Player, and I just threw this together. Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? <laughs> hmm. I am loving the nun get up. Very talky of you. Very talky of you is a dumb sentence and would never be said by a real person. She's tacky? Of course it was made for a cheap joke. You're wearing fishnets with... Are those cargo short shorts? Fishnets and cargo booty shorts. All she needs is that weirdly inappropriate kid's peekaboo pole dancing kit and... Dang it, I made the hooker joke! I meant talky. As in the evil nun who's been killing people around these parts? Maybe you've heard of him. They did the pronoun thing. Heck yes. But I've heard he or she doesn't really paint the whole talkie picture, so you alternate. Well, you could say that it's actually because talkie is by gender. I'm not going to complain because they did the thing! Hmm. Well, Taki stole my identity and is using it for murder. One sin per every time they pronounce the name wrong. Taki stole Taki. Find Taki fat. Taki is a if Taki her. We need to bring her to justice. Where is she so I can kill her? Whoa, that's a bit extreme. Who's the one in war criminal in your relationship again? Says me. 
And all the exorcism. Serpente's face says, please never mention exorcisms in front of me. Well, if you insist, he usually haunts those condemned apartments over yonder. Haunts condemned apartments like a demon. I mean devil. I mean demon. Frick, why did I say that twice? Good luck. I don't need luck with God on my side. That's, That's what, what they, they all say. say. Thanks for doing my job for me, Frick. Oh, girlfriend, if you survive, ask your mom if we're still on for Tuesday brunch. Tuesday brunch on a Friday night. Sorfen's face, oh my goodness. A Bruce Almighty Supermoon. Hey, we just completed Cinemason's bingo. We'll find Hucky faster if we split up. No, terrible idea. Whenever a group of main characters says that, they get picked off one by one by the monster. Trust me, we gotta stick together. Peter has seen horror movies to know that splitting up is a cliche. Okay, have it your way. Only at Burger King. Who's breathing like that? <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of a lightweight when it comes to asbestos. Books about allergies will never not be unfunny. <laughs> For a second. Hello, lost. Oh, shit. What's that talking? Damn. That's actually cute. I mean, terrifying. <laughs> it's just like my voice for Bubble. I mean, Retzel. Um, the little lines on her sprite aren't blush marks. They're her eyes. Someone clearly did not get the memo. Also, Sarvende should be very terrified of how tall this chainsaw-wielding unholy alien nun bitch is. Well, well, well. You finally showed up. Tell me where Roof is, and I'll make this painless. Who's the wanted war criminal in the relationship again? Oh, <laughs> he's right here. Now there's blood when there clearly wasn't any on him when we saw his corpse in the beginning. Also, you can't just take a dude's eye patch ribbon thing. Wait, no. Why is there blood on that? That's what I said! But why do you have that? Because she did something to him? Where's the rest of him? What do you mean by the rest of him? You should be asking, where is he? Don't worry, everyone. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do! Cervantes <laughs> got this. Player got blue balls. But wait, they can't remember that. But still, oh! Yes, demon form! I know this silhouette fight style looks awesome in anime. It doesn't here, though. She's touching the chainsaw's blades! Gosh, she did murder her! Again! Who is the criminal in the relation- I know I'll see him again someday. Minus 88. Totally deserved.